Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, another Batman series game is about to begin. This time with it being the Batman Telltale game season one, episode one. Um, I have played this before, like I said, but it was such a long time ago that it's pretty much going to be all fresh to me. And then afterwards, we will play season two of this game. Um, been a while since I played a Telltale game. I don't think these crowd plays work anymore. I tried doing it back when I played the, um, what was the other game? Uh, oh, it do does it? Actually? How does it work? I mean, I tried doing it with, uh, the old game. Um, what was it? The Marvel, um, Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy. I tried doing it with that game and it just didn't work at all. It was trying to connect to the servers and, and nothing was working. Um, anyways, we'll go ahead and start uh, episode one here. See how far we can get for today and then uh, go from there. Choose a bat tech color. I don't want to go with red. And I think that's actually what I went with before, but I feel like blue is like Batman's color. That's pretty cool. Your bat tech determines the color of Batman gadgets in the UI. We'll go purple for Twitch. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of think blue is like required for Batman. So I'm going to go with blue. Everything else kind of looks weird. Like I said, though, I am very looking forward to my new microphone coming in along with uh, the mixer. I think having that's going to be a lot of fun and it will really up the quality of my mic. I mean, right now, I love this mic, but I've had it for a few years now. So doing an upgrade for a better one um, going to be a good time for sure. So um, I'm really looking forward to that. The AT2020, I actually have it sitting in my room right now um, in the corner, just boxed up. Once the mixer comes in, the mixer and the XLR cable, once both of those come in, I'll probably try setting it up the day of um, and then go from there. The one thing that kind of sucks is even though I ordered the mixer on like a Sunday, um, no, I ordered it Saturday night. It's not shipping until Thursday, even though it's prime. Don't really understand that, but okay. Um, so yeah, once it comes in, we'll be upgrading the audio quality. But for now, we're sticking to this and to Batman. Wayne Enterprises. City Hall. 8.32 p.m. Doesn't look like you guys can see that part, but... Hey! What are you... Damn. I'm in the 1820 city of Gotham. Gonna show really and bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. I can't tell if it's like this, if it's lagging or it's just always like this. Oh, Christ. Move in. Yo, what's going on, Ben? How you doing, man? Second floor. 
I'm going in. Hey! Wait! Wait for backup! Don't need it. Take the stairs. I heard stories, you know. I hear that. three home in an ambulance. The rest in my uh, bags. I have the, the cops mic, want him dead. But I don't you have seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. The mixer yet. On the other fly. So I'm waiting for that to come still. I'm really looking forward to it. Alright. Yep, yep, I bought an XLR as well. Apparently it's supposed to be coming the same day as the uh the mixer. Seems like Thursday is the lucky day. Hold on, the audio quality is still very loud. Yeah, I did see that people are saying that there's uh it doesn't come with one. I was like, oh great. But that's alright. All right, let's continue with this here. I think in the long run, getting a mixer is gonna be a good decision. Plus, it's like the number one uh, Bruce, you can't keep doing this. mixer on Amazon. To. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. It's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs. It needs to something to fear. The sky. Criminals in this city. <laughs> they need something to fear. Shit! The hell did he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Appreciate you stopping by, man. Yeah, get some rest, and uh, I'll talk to you sometime soon. I appreciate all the help, by the way, with uh, everything for the uh, the mixer and stuff. It's a lot of information I would have missed out on, so thank you. Back to back, circle up. That's so sick, like the neon. I know you're trying to create a myth. Neon white but be eyes. be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come at! Come on! Come on! <laughs> It's like an ultimate ability or something like that. Boom. That's pretty sick. Use A and D to use your finishing blow. Didn't miss. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Behind you, big boy. Huh? Hey, Daddy. Got him. 
I guess the other scenes were just loading. Because it seems fine now. Well, if you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Hold on one second. I people something. There we go. Criminals are becoming afraid of you. So are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke I the do law. really like the, the Batmans with Cut voice the changers. The law. Because that makes Don't more sense without just using your regular voice. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me what? She'll the remember villain? that. Sounds fun. Gotta admit it though. <laughs> you give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Going in. It's funny seeing this after I literally just watched Batman Hush like yesterday. So that, and that had a, uh, it has Catwoman in it, but they're a lot closer than this. <laughs> For sure. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. Wait. Oh man. I feel like I almost missed that. Oh no, wrong button. The shift E is interesting. Like having to press shift in something else. Go to all that trouble for this. Shit. Oh, I think I pressed the, the wrong. Can't be killed. The wrong you, combination. I'm supposed to do A blood. and D. God damn it! I said don't shoot. No. Wait. Now he's like, oh shit, now I need to catch her. Oh. 
I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. <laughs> Don't struggle or you'll fall. No, but that's what you crave. The struggle. I know men like you. Uh oh. Bye, Bat. <laughs> She got away. Electari Dent for mayor. Boy. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Welcome to Gotham. Nice. Good start. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey, Harvey Dent, Dent is, is a uh, vote to finally put your foot down. The thick boy Together, in this game. Stamp out the fire and save our great city. <laughs> if only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you, thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. <laughs> you can see her little head right Mr. Here. Wayne, thank you for opening Hanging your house to us. off the edge of my bed. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Relax. It was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What? A chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. Some they want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stuff. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Like Tarby Den. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh... A new face for Gotham. Hmm? Look at you. That's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, hmm. I meant what I said. Together, you and me will change that. Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. You could tell that was like a painting or something. <laughs> the image of the uh, 
a manor or something else. Oz? Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. Boomers. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. They Old remember families that. like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. <laughs> There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that deranged man had gotten the right treatment maybe uh, well I don't like to think about maybes and I'm sure you don't either uh, yes well that was a long time ago I've moved on of course of course together we'll help the whole city move on at least they don't do the I'm not saying do, I doubted uh, you but death that went parents. better than expected like every other movie in game of unless the if they do later I don't know oh well hello Harvey Dent Gotham's next mayor and eager to know you Vicky Vale not interested and reporter for the Gotham Gazette this is a private fundraiser Miss Vale no reporters allowed well you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions do you mr. Wayne well you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow actually I'm here for mr. Wayne well he certainly doesn't have any time either tonight is strictly off the record we can talk but nothing gets written down I'm okay with that I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick this is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But hmm. how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Everyone loves the host. Oh, man. You're Almost ran out of time. Just a day. <laughs> I would have guessed Bruce Wayne has that feeling year-round. Yeah, well, I take nights and weekends off. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh... cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. <laughs> Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. 
Carmine Falcone? Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Is Let me cut is getting that. worse. A word of warning, Bruce. Literally. Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. Oh boy, everybody's watching. You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy who's gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Will be respectable. But you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple what Mayor Hill. Had... Hey, what's private audience? Oh, come on, guys. Bruce, you'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever ah, you... Ah, what did I say? Chill. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Well, I would say you can uphold the law and still do what's right. To a point. No one gets remembered for staying in the middle. Uh, Mr. Falcone, I... No more warnings. I ain't hit a chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happens to being a gracious host. Okay, imagine, this is me, and these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move, and I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. 
Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting Don't worked up over nothing. About my father. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. I'd say we handle that well. Politely denying him. Or as nice as we could. Batman the Telltale, Telltale series. It's me. There's the that computer. Episode one. Wow, that's in big text. <laughs> they really want you to know. Realms of shadows. A realm of shadows. One thing I really like about this game is you re you really do get to see both sides of Batman. You get to play as Bruce Wayne, then you also get to play as um, Batman. Obviously. Not all of them. And both sides affect each other differently. Read the data drive. The back computer should be able to read whatever data is on that stolen drive. To take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians. Nearly fell off a building for this. So important. Damn, encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. <laughs> in a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline, but it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, 
Everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Mm. Aha. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, <coughs> I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fistfights to your alter ego. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> well, it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this and it will. Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. Update. Home. Oh. Found her. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Uh, whenever Harvey calls. The guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. <laughs> the media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to that. <laughs> Alfred. <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Saying I saw eyes. eyes. It's been what, boy. 20 years? I saw my son. Getting so many really notifications right Indeed. now. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot we'll used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. One that got away. Cobblepot Park, 6 a.m.
Yeah, it's gone on, Kilgan. The game is Thank so you, fun. Sir. Yeah, it is. It's so it's so clean how they do it too. Like the transitions, the the characters mm -hmm. being able to play both sides of Great. Bruce Wayne and Batman. There's the statue, but no eyes. I played season one of this game uh, forever ago, like a little bit after it released, but uh, I never played season two, so. Hey. Beat it. Okay. Watch wallet cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I've got nothing. And him! Gentlemen! Oz. Boy. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. in the moment! Oh. Come here! Oh. Think that'll do? Oh, there. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. <laughs> this is my park. Mine. Brutal. You hear that? Oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Yeah, good as new. Woo, that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around Got this place blood with. blood all over his... Back when it wasn't, you know, He's like not even this. doing anything. This park used to mean <clears> something. <throat> A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Glad they never saw it like this. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. Yep, this is the first <sighs> season, and it's episode this one. This city chews right through people. So I'm, I'm literally only like an hour into the game right now. Mom Not even. Committed to Arkham. Probably like more like 40 Dad. minutes or so. You did it yourself, you did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Yeah, it's Hub it was parties, actually hotter earlier, but right now potential. it seems to be pretty cool. Now all I got is this park. My parents are gone too, Oz. I oh know, Bruce. I oh know. I'm sorry for. I was hotter when I started, but, I but it seems like it's actually cooled off a good amount. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. And the CPU temps are pretty good on more than just yourself. on my uh, stream PC. So, although I it was, was like 85 to see Carmine Falcone on Saturday at your party last night, made himself right at home. That oily. <sighs> Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. 
On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... Down he goes. Me pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. What Batman things have happened so far? Mm -hmm. or, so what Batman things have happened? Basically the only thing that we've done uh, as Batman is the beginning of the game. Uh, you chase down uh, Catwoman to get this file that has a map of the east, like the port side of Gotham. But we haven't figured out what it does yet. Harvey Dent's running for mayor. Um, Bruce is friends with Harvey Dent, so he's trying to help him. And then uh, Balcony is out here trying to uh, persuade Harvey Mr. Dent. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And the rate of death and suicide inside the asylum itself is truly terrifying. And worse mm -hmm. still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are mm -hmm. even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible. But inside, they're suffering. <sighs> You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. Such a good story. Who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we create a new face for Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne 
and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. That's a little I'm, growl. Uh, sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. This time, we won't fail those who need us most. We... All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Uh, you there. So, uh, somebody Mr. else Wayne, is about Julia to say Remark something. The My sources say you welcome the legend mob boss. Carmine she looks like a Sims character. <laughs> you even shook his hand. Oh, uh, Mr. Falcone showed up unannounced, but Bruce, being the gracious host he is, allowed him a brief chat about billiards. No skeletons in the closet there, folks. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father. Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Oh Care boy. to comment? <laughs> and did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, oh, Mr. Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? All right, this press conference is over. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Oh, boy. Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Oh, boy. Eat the press. 1.3. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill, in the rain, with skates on. Alfred. Keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. Mayor Hill. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. <laughs> okay, so you just do whatever Mayor Hill says. <sighs> Hill and I, we have a vested interest to keep things professional. For Gotham's sake. Doesn't mean I like the words whistling through his windpipes. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's chopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. That's like work of Falcone. the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide.
Who dropped this picture? Uh, them. Flashback. Oh, they do do the flashback. Take whatever you want. You, you don't have to do this. Um, what those are from. Bruce? I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, it's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay flimsy sources, there isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family, after me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. <sighs> Hill, Falcone, or Oz. Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. Give a quote. Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood? That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty yeah. of enemies, but I mean, I'm, I'm done uh, nothing but happy that there's at least in its darkest two days. All this season on the anniversary of your parents. It's not a coincidence. I never Harvey's played the second the season. Attorney. I played he the first. Told me this was coming. But find it's been so long. I don't didn't. really remember this. This one. There are some slight things that I do remember, but I'm not going to talk about them because. Just in case if somebody's watching, but I'm glad that there's a whole entire different one I'll be able to experience too. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Hopefully we get to see Wait, more does this have someday. To do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? Yeah. That press conference turned into a bloodbath. Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files, with the oh, son of a revival. bitch. You're the goddamn DA, aren't you? I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. That we, God we get it. good, uh... He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. 
Mary Hill's trying I hope to screw we get us both over with this good, move. Uh, continuation of the series movies. that the, that they do have. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? I still just can't believe that every, everything that did happen in Telltale, that and it happened so quick. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? It's got to be politically motivated. Hill can't match your fundraising, so he's trying to take out your biggest donor. I don't know. This is a new low, even for Hill. Oh, God, what a mess. We are supposedly Bruce, still getting a, a wolf among away, us too. I'm not sure if I can. Though, which was if a I fantastic get in the way game. Of this investigation, he would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest, and that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. You should probably distance yourself from me. What? No, no, I can't do that. Well, you may have to. Don't say that. You. There you are. They said they were hey, trying you? to. Sorry. I gotta to have it being late. Revive it. Oh no, just and you made it. hire the the same people, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> they see each other's marks. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I think we'd both welcome a change of topic. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around mm. Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can... Drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. Meet anyone interesting? Not really. They haven't all been as welcoming as Harv. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. It's not your fault. Did you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it mm -hmm. under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Oh boy, they're... Who's gonna say something first? <laughs> nice to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I don't need one. I do this... because I can. And I thought you were on some noble crusade against crime. Silly me.
You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. Who hired you to break into the mayor's office? My clients prefer to remain confidential. They don't know who I am, I don't know who they are. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Oh, great. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. <laughs>